Freeanne with Plum Fabulous Foods, and today I'm coming to you live from my bathroom. So I brought you guys in here so I could show you where I start plants and where I grow seeds because I don't have a greenhouse. If you have a greenhouse, great. You are very blessed, and I would encourage you to start all your seeds out there. But if you're like me and you don't have a greenhouse, but you want to start your own plants from seed because that's a great way to control the species that you have and to save some money, then let me show you what you can do. So this is my plant stand. So on this stand, I can actually grow 600 of these little um, four by cell packs here. The, each one of these trays holds 50. Um, so I can do four trays per shelf. And so I can get 600 of those on here all together. Um, I started these tomatoes back in December, about December 15th. And then I up planted them into these larger four inch square pots um, about two weeks ago. So I, I can put about 20 of those in each one of these. And so each row holds 80 of the bigger four inch pots. So I just wanted to show you a couple things here. One, this is it. I can do a whole lot with just this one little shelf. It's in my bathroom because this is actually the only kid free zone in my whole house. My kids are a little bit bigger now, but when they were little, it was very difficult to keep their hands out of the dirt. And so I have always had a shelf in here. Um, I had a smaller shelf for years. This is actually my first year to have this bigger shelf and I'm really excited because it gives me a lot more options. Um, for starting plants. So um, just a couple notes here. This shelf, these plants have gotten so big that I actually had to set these lights up here because I couldn't hang them any higher anymore. So um, that's what they're, that's why they're sitting up there. But typically they're going to be hanging from chains like these lights here. And what's really nice is how versatile this is. So you can see the, the height differences in my plants. And because they're on chains individually, I can really adjust the lights to be exactly where they need to be. Really, you want to keep them about two to four inches off the tops of your plants. And so I've done the best I can to try to accommodate that. And then um, down here, you can see what it looks like, how I've got them growing um, right, right up to. Some of these are getting really close, like those right there. So these are just LED shop lights that I got at Walmart. They're about $20 to $30 a piece, depending on which ones you can have. You can see I've got different kinds of lights. And so from the side, you can see that I've got two of these bigger lights on this row and they're really adjustable. I've got three of these like single lights here and then down here I've actually got two different kinds of lights and um, what, whatever kind of lights you can get. The LED lights are really better because they put off less heat and the more heat there is the more you'll dry your plants out and so you'll have to water them more often. I have a couple of tote lids down there just to catch any drips that might come. Um, you can see my watering can. But it's really easy for me to keep up with watering the plants when they're when there's something that I see every single day. This is very, very simple to keep up with. It takes me about, I don't know, three minutes to water all these plants. Right now, they're actually going through about four gallons of water a day. And so, um, very easy to just keep an eye on them. They like the heat in here. We also have our washer and dryer in, in our bathroom here. And so there's that puts off a nice amount of heat. And you know when we take showers, it puts humidity in the air. So very pleased to have it in here. So what I'm going to do now, um, I have about 114 new um, seeds that I need to plant for our next planting. But you can see that my space is already filled up. So this is the time of year where I like to start moving these tomato plants and pepper plants outside during the day as often as I can so that they can start the hardening off process. So if you've ever started seeds or even if you buy small transplants from a nursery, the most important thing that you can do to help your plants is to help them go through a hardening off process. So this is a process where you expose them to small amounts of wind and, and outside conditions and direct sunlight over a, a gradual period of time. So the first day I'll put them out there on my front porch in a which is covered, it's out of the wind, and I will leave them out there as much as I can during the day and then bring them back inside at night so that they're warm 
and they don't have to go through some of those really cold night temperatures that we're still having right now. And then tomorrow I'll move them back out and keep exposing them to those outside conditions as much as I can. After about a week of doing that, I'll start moving them into direct sunlight for maybe an hour a day and then the next day, two hours a day. And I know that there's a certain amount of inconvenience with this, but this is this is the price we pay for not having a, green, a greenhouse. Um, I've talked to a lot of people even that have used transplants from um, local nurseries around here and they have like, they've I've heard varying amounts of how many of them die every year and I suggest to them try this hardening off process. Don't take them from their nice comfy home in a greenhouse. Even if you have a greenhouse, you still kind of want to go through this process of exposing them to the outside harsh conditions because you can't just take them from their comfortable environment and then throw them in the garden with direct overhead hot sun and wind and these harsh conditions and not expect some of them to suffer a little bit. So this is that's a good practice for anybody with any of their plants. Um, but as I go through this process of moving these tomatoes outside, then I'm gonna have room on these shelves to start seeding out my next set of uh, plants and I'll have plenty of room to do that.